All right, so I'm Lindsay Bender and I'm here at the greenhouse station and we're going to be talking about how to incorporate mushrooms into gardens you may already be growing, um, as well as some mushroom species that can be grown together with plants. So the almond agaricus is one of our very popular summer fruiting varieties and that's grown on compost beds and oftentimes especially for growers in the north that's done in greenhouses or if you're amending soil with compost you can go ahead and plant mushrooms alongside those. Growers that don't have large greenhouses that's no problem. All of these mushroom varieties can also be grown simply outdoors in your yard or outdoor space. Um, but a new application is actually planting mushrooms in containers or pots. We have some beautiful window boxes that have flowers or other plants within them. Here you can see kind of a, a variety of plants in this large plot, pot. And we've planted the almond portobello mushroom. So it's a great way to kind of incorporate mushrooms into something you're already doing. Yeah, so the mushrooms are actually planted within the soil layer. So essentially what we do is we start by filling the container with potting soil, amending with a little bit of compost, filling it up, and then planting the plants on top of that. And then another what, way that we incorporate mushrooms into our greenhouse is actually by using reishi blocks as bed borders. And here's an example of one of those reishi blocks that's actually fruited from the sawdust substrate. What we like to do, because reishi thrives in hot and humid temperatures, is we actually like to put these blocks and then fill that space between the blocks with the compost and plant other mushrooms.